said, today I am going to do my primers and my setting spray collection and everything that I have. So if you're new here, like and subscribe. I'm Amanda. If you're not new here, thanks for coming back. So first I'm going to do my little samples. And I have the Balm Time Balm. And it is okay. It's not my favorite. And it's... Don't feel like it actually gives me a flawless face like it said it would, but I like the professional better. So I would not buy it. Next is the Kissimmee Pure Vitamin C Primer. I liked it. I would buy it if it was on sale for pretty cheap. And I am wearing purple lip stuff. I tried the She Glam. I tried <laughs> this shade right here. Yep, I sure did. Okay, next primers. I got the Touch and Soul No Pore Blend Primer. I really, really like it. But I do like this and I would buy it because mm -hmm. it does a good job. Okay. Next, I have the Ciate London Watermelon Burst Hydrating Primer. This smells really good, but it doesn't work as... If I had to rate them, I'll rate them as I go. Let's just do... My favorite one out of all of them is this one. I have another one in my makeup bag because Karen sent me one and I had one. And then my next favorite... I'll say hmm, is this one which I already said what that one is and then the Urban Decay Optical Illusion Complexion Primer with Smoothing Rose Hip and Argon Oil Pore Perfecting and that's actually works pretty good but I've only used it twice Next, I'd say the Huda Beauty Complexion Perfection Pre-Makeup Face. I like it so far. I only used it three times maybe. So I'm not sure yet. Next one that would be my favorite is this one, which I already said was, you know, I already said what it was. And then this one. And then, is that all my primers? Oh, wait. Before the watermelon one and the Kissimmee one, this one, the Illamasqua Hydra Veil Primer. I've actually had two before I found the other ones. I really like this one. It feels like it's sticky and weird at first, but it dries down and it's good. This one's next and I had gotten rid of the, what's the company called? Burst Aid Beauty Primer. I didn't like it. I'm going to give it to my mom. Uh, this one, I'm not sure if it had anything to do with my breakout, but during my breakout, I was using this. So I haven't used it anymore, and I'm not that big on the glow it gives me because it's not summer anymore. But it's the Dr. Brand's Pour No More Luminizing Primer. And the noise in the background is Callie playing with the coins because I don't know why. <laughs> she was watching Teen Titans before this. Okay. So now... Let's see, setting sprays from favorites to least. My favorite setting spray is the Morph Sweet Peach. I like that one the most for the smell. But my favorite for setting makeup is the Urban Decay All Nighter. And I like put this on and if I forget to have makeup on and wipe my eye, there's nothing on my hand. Like, that's how good it works. I have this little one, and I have another tiny little sample. And I really like it. Next, but I would buy them both again. And out of all the primers, I know I'm all half backwards. Out of all the primers, the only ones that I would buy again is these two. That's it. And the professional, of course. Okay. Uh, next, I would say the Ciate London Everyday Vacay is my next favorite. I would get this again. I love it. I love the smell. I love how it works. The next is the Morphe Jeffree Star Set Refresh Mist Starberry. That's my next favorite. Works just like the Sweet Peach. 
but it smells different. This one is getting very low. It's the Pixie Makeup Fist Fixing Mist with rose water and green tea. And this was my first favorite ever. I really, really do love it a lot. But I'm not sure that it sets my makeup because it's more, it's called Fixing Mist. I don't, well, it says setting mist. It doesn't set my makeup like the expensive ones. But I really do love it. I would buy it again. 15 bucks to Target. Next, I'll say... I, the rest of them, I like in their own way. Okay, so the Too Faced Do You Setting Spray. I love the smell. It goes on really light, so I like it for that. I'm not going to buy another one, though. The Revolution Purifying Priming Water with Cannabis Sativa. If it was on sale for like five bucks, yes, I'd buy it again. But I'm not paying the price. I think I paid like 15 maybe. Maybe 10. But yeah, I like it though. But it doesn't keep my makeup on forever. The Laura Geller Spackle Mist. I didn't like the after smell of it. I don't know how to explain that. I thought it smelled mildewy. But I learned to like it. And I have got through the bottle. And I'm actually going to miss it because I'm going to use it now. Because unlike the other ones, I feel like you can just use it anywhere. Like, if you're on the beach, you can just spray yourself and just like, ah. The other ones, I don't feel like that. Um, the last one is a Vasanti Rose Water Pomegranate Toner and Refreshing Spray. It goes on very, very, very wet. And your whole face is soaked. So that's why I put it last. But it did not like put little dots on my face or anything like that. But okay guys, that is my setting spray and primer collection. Because my mom was supposed to come visit today and she didn't. And I already had my makeup done so I didn't want to do it get ready with me. So, love you guys. Don't forget to give a thumbs up and have a great day. And we'll grow.